Imagine having feathers all over your head and still be called bald. Well, this is the life of the Great Bald Eagle, the national symbol of the United States of America. America, America. Jokes apart, by the end of this video, you will know a lot more about the Bald Eagle and you'll be glad you watched it whole. So let us begin with the mighty symbol of America, the Bald Eagle. Apart from being the national emblem of the United States of America since 1782, the Bald Eagle is also known as a deadly hunter. It is mostly found near large water bodies with endless food supply, majorly in North America. The Bald Eagle is a huge-sized eagle that usually preys on fish, with the primary weapon being its talons. The eagle is said to have more than 400 species of organisms that it can feed upon, but fish are the most preferred and desirable choice for him. Well, the heart wants what it wants, so there's not much we can do about it. As you might know, the bald eagle is not literally bald. The mere reason as to why it is called a bald eagle is the fact that its head is distinctly visible due to its unique white color as compared to the rest of his body, which is dark brown. Another prominent feature is the long and sharp yellow beak. The dark brown colored feathers are pretty much similar in both genders, but the female bald eagle is said to be 25% bigger than the male bald eagle. Scientists are still not sure as to why this size disparity exists, but since females lead the nest building process and incubate the eggs, the bigger size comes in handy. The morphological features include a body length of 70 to 100 centimeters, a wingspan roughly measured to be around 5 to 7 feet, and a body mass between 3 to 6 kilograms. Also, did you know that it has eyesight that is approximately 4 to 8 times stronger than the average human? That sure is unbelievable, isn't it? Well, what's even more unbelievable is the fact that it has a see-through membrane on the eyelids that lets it see clearly even with its eyes closed. As far as the habitat of the eagle is concerned, it usually builds its nest on coniferous and hardwood trees having a height of 20 meters and a depth of 10 meters. While choosing its home, another factor that comes into consideration is the proximity to water bodies to have a better view of the fish, aka their food. Their nests are usually huge in size to accommodate their large bodies. The average nest size ranges from 2 to 4 feet in depth and 4 to 5 feet in width. However, the largest nest of a bald eagle ever recorded was in Florida in 1963, which measured to be around 10 feet wide and 20 feet deep. Believe it or not, but that's as big as an average room. The bald eagle doesn't really seem to like humans a lot. It is quite preeminent by the fact that it chooses to live in places that have minimal to zero human interference. Speaking of its speed, it can fly at a speed of 55 to 70 kilometers per hour on average, whereas it flies at a speed of 120 to 160 kilometers per hour while diving to attack its prey. Once it catches hold of the prey, it flies at a comparatively lower speed of 48 kilometers per hour. The migration habits of the bald eagle are such that it flies to the south in winters since the water freezes in the north, making it difficult to obtain food. During the migration period, it does not fly for the entire day but has a specific duration for it. It mainly flies from 8 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. Even these birds follow an organized schedule. There is a certain section of people that tends to get a little confused between a bald eagle and a vulture. However, there is a clear identifying difference between the two. When flying, the bald eagle's wings are flat in the air, whereas a vulture's wings form a V-shape in the upward direction. The bald eagles are often referred to as thieves due to the fact that they are used to stealing the prey of other animals, or sometimes even humans, like fishermen who catch fish for a livelihood. They can even eat items off the garbage cans or dumpsters if need be. Contrary to their scary demeanor, the bald eagles have a rather soft, squeaky and whistling voice that doesn't really go with their appearance. 
So yes, the loud scream of eagles that you hear in movies is fake. We didn't mean to ruin your theater experience, but it is what it is. In fact, the voice that is often shown on screen of the bald eagle is actually the red-tailed hawk's voice. The bald eagles have an extraordinarily strong grip that allows them to carry fish that weighs as much as the eagle itself. We can't even imagine the level of strength that the bald eagles possess. They are usually known to attain sexual maturity at the age of four or five and the male bald eagle mates for life. For breeding purposes, it is believed that they return to the places where they were born. It happens very rarely, but if a couple isn't able to mate and produce an offspring, they split and search for new mates to reproduce with. The average lifespan of a bald eagle is believed to be around 20 years, whereas the oldest living bald eagle ever recorded lived up to 38 years old. They tend to live longer in confinement, and the longest living confined bald eagle was 50 years old. The lifespan of this eagle somewhat depends largely on the location where it resides and how easily accessible the prey is from that location. Long ago, in 1995, it was categorized as an endangered species but was later shifted to the threatened species category. In 2007, it was removed from the lists of endangered and threatened species and the IUCN Red List identified it as a species of least concern. Poaching by humans, which was once a major concern, has substantially declined throughout the years. So much so that, in a recent study in Florida, it was concluded that the adult bald eagle's annual survival rate was 100%. Even after the Exxon Valdez oil spill tragedy in Alaska, which majorly affected the bald eagles, their survival rate was still 88%. While the adult mortality rate is pretty low, the danger of hatchling mortality is still significant in major areas. It is often believed that only 50% of hatchlings survive their first year of being born. Most of these baby birds' fatalities occur due to starvation, unfavorable weather, aggressive siblings, or if the nest collapses. As if this was not enough, another cause of concern is predators who prey on these baby bald eagles. These predators mainly consist of wolverines, crows, bobcats, American black bears, owls, red-tailed hawks, and other fellow eagles. These nestlings are often preyed on when their parents are not around, which mostly happens when the food availability is low and both the parents have to search for it, resulting in much less protection. The bald eagle is not just an ordinary eagle and instead has immense cultural significance attached to it. Apart from being the national bird of the United States, it is also quite prominently visible on the seals, logos, and postage stamps of the U.S. federal government. However, there was some opposition from people who did not like the idea of making the bald eagle the national bird of America or giving it so much importance, considering its thief-like nature. One such prominent person was Benjamin Franklin, a political philosopher who stated in a letter to his daughter that he would rather have the wild turkey as a representative of the country. He believed that the bald eagle does not have a good moral character and does not earn its livelihood with sincerity. <laughs> Very solemn moment and a patriotic moment and an uncooperative bald eagle. The Native Americans often view the bald eagle from a spiritual angle and believe it to be an intermediary between God and humans. The feathers of the bald eagle are considered to be sacred and are worshipped in many religious customs. In various different tribes, the bald eagle is considered to be a protector, a symbol of peace, honor, and fertility. Which beautiful beast would you want us to cover next time? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.